Hey, Joe from Boulay's Garage. If you have a 2003 Dodge product, such as this Dodge Dakota here that has a 3.7 liter V6 in it, and it needs a crank position sensor, you might want to watch this video before you tackle it yourself. Especially if you live in the Northeast. Hold on. Alright, so what I did on this Dodge, this 2003 Dodge Dakota, if you can see right up in here, I don't know if you can see it or not, my camera's too big to get up in there. But right in that little hole there is a side where the cam crankshaft position sensor lives. And this one was horribly rusted around it. I tried putting penetrating oil in it, get it to move, get it to move, couldn't get it to move, had vice grips on it. And the outside of it was cracked, so it was very brittle. So I talked to a friend of mine, he spent like four hours one time trying to get one of these out and he finally got it out. But what I did was I kept heating it up. I had to break half of it off. Drilled a hole in it, got a screwdriver in it to pry it. He got it to move and turn it back and forth, turn it back and forth. And finally I got it out of there. Uh, but if you're thinking about, you know, if you go to AutoZone, they pull your code for you and say you need a crank position sensor. and uh, you think you're going to do this on your back, especially if you live in the Northeast. Uh, I would think twice about that because I had a heck of a time doing this uh, on the lift. Let me show you what's left of the sensor. Hold on. So I haven't yet installed this sensor yet. Here's what the new crank shaft position sensor looks like on the, for this Dodge. This is what I have left of the old one. You can see um, this is the part I had a hard time getting out, the actual pickup portion of it. But I actually had to drill a hole in the end of this and start prying and get it to finally move. And this little bit of wiring that was sticking out, I was able to put some needle nose pliers on it and pry it out and get it out. But if you're trying to do one of these on your own um, at your house on your back and your driveway, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, if you live in the southern states where you don't have rust like we do in the northeast, you might have a chance to do it, but um, and you probably won't have a problem at all. But anyway, uh, hopefully this video has helped you out, uh, possibly from getting you giving you a really bad headache <laughs> and a lot of frustration. Anyway, until next time, like and subscribe. Uh, have a great night.